America has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries. And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. Okay, we do everything to keep Sub-Saharan Africa where it is, also impoverished. It's absolutely vital for the prosperity of everyone else. So let's get clear about that. Okay, and this means all the economic structures, all the global institutions and the economics we teach everyone is all designed to keep Africa exactly where it is. And whether it is Europe or US or now China, it's always the same. We need Africa to be impoverished because we need those raw materials and we need them dirt cheap. Okay, so that's the message. It doesn't mean to say that there's nothing Africans can do. Of course there is. This is what it's about. Because if Africa does do something different, I assure you living standards of all those in Europe and North America and in Asia is going to fall. Okay? And that is a big price to pay. I assure you that the West is not going to allow that without a big fight. Okay? So the job of many Western academics is to convince Africans they have to keep doing what they're doing. Okay? And to show them it's your fault that you're poor. It's not our fault. It's your fault that you're poor. You know? So this is what we do in academic institutions. We know the basic forces that have caused this underdevelopment. We know it's colonization. We cannot afford to allow Africa to industrialize and start producing manufacturers. Okay, so we will do everything to stop that. And I'm going to show you how we actually block that. We had East Asian rapid industrialization processes. So in the earlier period, we had Japan and Korea and Taiwan. Okay. Africa has been fundamental 